Hi, I'm Aaron, and I am nocturnally gassy. Hi, I'm Karina, and I'm daytime chatty. Oh, lovely. I just literally plucked that out of the air, Aaron, because I mate. wasn't... I am sweating. I was not preparing. Mate. It's oh, so what? hot. We're doing that really British thing where we talk about how hot it is. We can't talk about anything else but the weather. No, we can't. It's just what happens. Ugh. We're just fanning ourselves. You know what? It, but... Just roll the music. Just do it. Just go ahead. Drop it low. Up, down, up, down, up, down. And that is how you drop it low. Great. Loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I like it too. I like it too. I like it good children. Uh, snazzy. So snazzy. Snazzy. So snazzy. It's very hot. So we're going to do a podcast. Yeah, that's what we thought we would do. It's good weather for it. Like we thought what we would do is pick <laughs> one of the hottest days of the year. Well, tomorrow is the hottest day of the year. Flip off, Liz. We're not doing it then. Oh, I'm working though. Mate. I don't want air conditioning. No, it's an old building. They're going to kill me. Sorry. You, no, you, you don't know the meaning of hot until you've worked in a care home. Oh, yeah. Katie, bless her soul. Comes home every day and she's just like, ah, oh, I'm sweating in my own eyes. Because mm. you can imagine it's no one of the bits that mm. the heating is on. Oh. They can't switch it off. Why? Don't know. Mm. Any any excuse would not be good enough. Oh, that's disgusting. Imagine hauling people around, washing them, oh. cleaning them, taking them to the loo, sorting out their bits and bobs. I think speaking of. Sorting out their bits and bobs. We're doing a brief history of porn. We are. <laughs> We're going to sort out their bits and bobs. What was interesting is we did most of our research in front of my mum. Oh yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, yeah we she, did. She seemed disturbingly enthralled by that though, didn't she? She loved it. She did. She loved it. She Yeah, mm -hmm. she really did. It wouldn't be a podcast episode if we didn't mention my mum. Hello, Bev. Bev. You are right. Also mum. Mum. Mama Bev. Mama Bev. Mama Bev. <laughs> <laughs> I think she wants to be called Nana Bev if ever she's... With child. If, either you're with you're child. Right, children. Ugh. Yeah. Kate's very maternal. She wants to be. Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you're going to pin all your hopes on Kate, Mum. Okay. The best option, Bev. But before <laughs> children <laughs> comes <laughs> porn. What? What, Karina? No, I don't know. Do we justify that a bit? Tenuous. A tenuous link. Tenuous link. Funny. You know, Punchline. Here we go. Tenuous link too. Because you've got to do the do before you have the, the children. And they do the poo. Yeah. And you clean you the do, poo. The, you do the do, or you rub naughty bits, and then you create a child. You bump uglies. And pornography is the depiction of that. Some pornography. Very, is. very, very out there and fake. Not oh. realistic in the slightest. Yes. Do you agree? Yeah, hundred percent. Do you know what I really hate about pornography? What do you hate about pornography, Karina? It's it's really only meant for men. Yeah, there are female made pornography there. Right, that's becoming a thing now. So it's I'm all right. Quite pleased about that. And also, um, they look like they're in pain. The ladies. Oh really? Yeah, there's moments where you see her like wincing, <laughs> and she pretends like it's like a sexy, sexy noise, like. Ah. Like, oh, oh. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And, oh, yeah. And you're like, oh, no, no, that woman is hurting inside. Oh, bless her. And she's like pushing away oh. the pelvis. That's sad. Yeah, right. That's what I don't like about pornography. <laughs> <laughs> you're human then. Yeah, I just, I like her to have a good time. It's good. Rather than just use this as sort of um, an aesthetically pleasing thing. It's her sex job, though, isn't it? Yes, you can say that, but you could also say, "Hey, hey, we don't want to, we don't want to ram into a cervix. You're not trying to breach any walls. Can you just, it's nice, gently <laughs> rub it in." Why do people always want to see big penises in pornography? Right, don't matter. That's the other thing. Don't matter. There's not a lot of variety, is there? No. Of penis, as my mum calls them. And why would you shave your pubes? You shave your pubes. No. Neither do I. Well, I don't want to see anyone with my pubes. I know. It's, I think. I mean, if bit. you do it. A little bit. If you do it, that's, that's cool. Oh, no. Well, I need mine up because they're very long sometimes. And it makes my woody, woody look really small. <laughs> so you just 
trim it back. If there's too much bush, you've got to trim it back. Yeah, it's just courtesy, isn't it? And it's easier and less messy. And, you know, it just gets in the way, doesn't it? But yeah. go away, Afro, I don't want you. What was that cut in your fringe? Exactly. Trim the bangs so before you get the bangs. Trim, trim the bush. Before the bangs. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I see what you're saying yeah, there. There you go, the bangs. Oh, yeah, you've got to trim that bush. But it's very fashionable now not to have any hair at all. I don't like that. I want it's too much maintenance for me. It's a bit pre puber, if you ask me. That's what I said. I'm going to nick your drink, sorry. I'm blue. That's well, what yeah. I said. But people like the sensation of uh, naked. That is nice squash. Isn't it? It's a good squash. Watermelon. Mm. Uh, strawberry. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Fits in really well. <laughs> yeah, gargling. I saw a programme once where they were doing phonography, but they lost a bit of sound. So then they had to get people to do the sound over. For the porn? Yeah. Should we do our best one? Our best what? Noise for sex. Oh, okay. Uh, yep, can't fine. Use, can't use mouth. Well, you can, but you can't do, like... You can't use your vocal cords. Okay. Right. Thank you very much. <laughs> Go on, Karina. It's your turn. Um, Have you got one? Yeah. Wait, I'm going to spit this down. I'm excited for you. It, I think this might depict how, how much I don't really know much. It sounds kind of painful. Yeah. That, that's my experience of sex. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And it's the right weather because it's so fucking oh. Just... <laughs> I, I think if I was doing that during sex, I'd pass out. Yeah, I'm quite tired now. Do you ever like hold your breath no, by accident? Maybe, I don't know. Like you're like this. Oh, yeah, breathe. Like, <laughs> oh, gosh, no, sorry, I forgot. I forgot I was supposed to forgot to breathe because I'm being penetrated. Is that what you mean? Yeah, uh, gotta breathe through it, apparently. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's an interesting idea, isn't it? We've what? both been penetrated. <laughs> Moving on. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Oh, God, it's hot. Let us talk about the history yeah, go on, of Karina. So I did a little bit of research. Did a little bit of research. Oh, well, 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 so I looked, so what I did, like any self-respecting researcher, <laughs> I wrote porn into the Google search engine. Smart. Okay. So, and you know sometimes Google will, like, suggest things. So you put in a well, word and job, then it will, it? like, that's jump in to finish. Oh, also correct. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I put porn and the first search result came up was porn addiction and its side effects. That's a bit sad. Isn't it? I think I might say search on there in fairness. Now, when I scrolled through the suggested websites, because I thought, I'll go with that one, <laughs> I didn't, there was nothing by the NHS. In fact, the NHS skipped straight to addictions on drugs, so oh. it's not recognised. Oh, yeah. Uh, and there was a lot of American sites, but not... Isn't a porn addiction technically a sex addiction? No. They're different. Mm. Yeah, because um, sex addiction is about the physical act of it. Yeah. Rather, pornography is like the medium, literally it's the medium that turns uh, you on. In fact, the act of sex is severely impacted by your addiction to pornography. I suppose, yeah, because it's not realistic, is it? Yeah. So, so we looked through all of that, um, and there's a couple of websites uh, on it, but yeah, I thought it was interesting that that's the first thing that came up. I think it's something that people are now talking more about, oh, and yeah. it's got to be a, a new phenomenon because of course, it's so easy to access now, isn't it? Is so easy to access this thing. So, we'll talk about the beginnings of porn because we're all pornography has always been a thing for us, I suppose. Yeah, we've not known the world without it, have we? No, I don't think anyone who's alive now has, and it just grows. Is that, is that correct, Karina? Pardon? Anyone who's alive now. Hasn't known a world without porn. Yeah. Fact. Facto. So, the first thing that we found we can date back is two, 25,000 years old. <laughs> right? Right. And it's called the Venus of Willendorf. And it's a rock carving of, Sexy. A, of a lady with exaggerated breasts. That's what they're calling porn. Yeah, and it was... Um, it was found in a in a river, 
It's a famous one, but I can't say it. Danube? Let's have a go, let's have a go. That one. Where? Uh, yeah, why not? Danube? Danube. Alma, oh, please do correct me if I've said that wrong. Probably but have. I have. So then after that, we skip along to Greeks and Romans, and they quite in inclusive of all kinds of sexy sex. Sexy sex. So they did a lot of artwork on not Ooh. just hetero... Normative. Normative sex. Well, heterosexual sex. There was homosexual sex. Ooh, and group sex. Ooh, I mean, they were, they were getting it. And then some. Hello. They had naked Olympics. What? I can understand it in this weather. Gee right. Whiz. But imagine the sunburn. Oh. Hello. Sunburn wiener. It's probably why they grew aloe vera. Oh my god. There exactly. Go. Can we just have like 10 seconds of this? One second, guys. Oh. Bloody hell, it's hot. Got to air out the room, I'm sorry. And. One second. Oh. Is that alright? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Mmm, I'm sweaty for you, baby. I feel better already. Do you feel better? Yeah. Help, then after that, porn was more quite exclusively for aristocrats because they had the money to spend. Oh right? uh, yeah, I saw this bit in the documentary earlier about um, they didn't before the printing yes. press. So they basically had paintings and stuff. I'm, I'm yeah. assuming. Or these were commissioned. Commissioned porn. Porn basically. They so were, cool. So it was so depictions of people having. Can sex. we reenact the appointment booking for this, please? Yeah. Can you be the porn artist? Yeah, of course. Okay. Um, we're going to pretend there's phones, shall we? Yeah. So, uh... Hello. Hi, is this, um, Porn Go Go? Yes, it is. Welcome. Yeah. Hi, hi. Yeah, I just wanted to, um, wanted to get a quote, really, of a, of a canvas painting. Oh, uh, how big are we talking? Oh, uh, I want it to cover my wall, so um, probably about 10 feet by 30. Okay, that's also that most popular quite size. Quite a big one, yeah, quite a big yeah. one. Um, and what do you do? We, we have a variety. I mean, don't... Homosexual, heterosexual, group uh, sex. I mean, don't judge me. Right. But uh, I kind mm -hmm. of... No judgments here. Yeah, I kind of wanted a, um, a man. Yeah. And a woman. Lovely. And a pig. Right. Just the fattest pig you know. Do you have the pig? Do I, do I have the pig? Is it the pig that... I mean, if I had the pig, I wouldn't need the canvas, would I? Pig that you want to... If I had the pig, I wouldn't need the canvas. I want the biggest pig so you know. We're... Oh, right, okay. I you mean, know those Renaissance paintings with the big fat pigs? I think I know exactly what yeah. you're talking yeah. about. One of them Yeah, ones. one of those. Yeah, um, I want it so that we are kind of spit roasting the pig. Not on a, oh, not, not on a proper spit roast. That would be, that would be silly. My penis. Right. And it's bum. Right. And then my wife, these people are me and my wife, by the way, in, in the painting. I'll, uh, I'll send you some oil paintings for reference. But um, it's going to be like a, she'll be the other end. But um. I don't know if you could like add a contraption to her so she could also spit roast the pig. No, do you know that's actually quite a common cool request. What? What? The contraption. On on a woman. Yeah, people okay. love ladies, but they love them all with penises. Is that, is that a thing? Yes. Would you? Would you like me to make it look as though she has a penis, mm. or that she's wearing a penis? Ooh. Um. Let's go for wearing a penis, because I'm straight, obviously. Obviously. Yeah. Um, fine, yes, mm, that's yeah. absolutely adequate. I uh, do send those oil paintings over. I, I will, think, I think. Uh, on the basis of the size, of what, what's it, are we outside, are we inside? What kind it's of a room, scenery? it's a room. It's a room, okay, so in You mean in the painting? Yeah. Oh, I want it in, in the pig pen. In the pig pen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, mm. good choice, sir. Yeah. Um, Thank you. In that case, I believe it's probably going to take three to six months to finish. Jeez, uh, that's, that's very fast. I, I, I know. Yes, yes. And um, it will cost you uh, approximately 15 acres of land. 
Oh, no, I, I hear your hesitation, uh, sir. I, I don't know. But we are having a special deal at the moment. It is buy one, get one free, and we'll throw in a sheep for free. A sheep? Mm-hmm. Oh, I, I mean, uh, could you add the sheep in the painting? No, that's what I meant. Oh, but, but like, as a voyeuristic bystander. Peer, sir, peering over the fence. It's like you read my mind. Peering over the fence, right? Yeah. Absolutely. Rubbing his nipples. Yeah. It's sheepy it nipples. Been, yeah. All 17. All 17 nipples. Yeah, yeah, good. Okay, well, we'll get to that to you in, in approximately three to six months. Oh, marvellous. I look forward to uh, owning some of your land. Oh, thank you very much. Excellent, thank you. Good day, Bye-bye. sir. Good day. That's how I go. That was, <laughs> that was really fun. I enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So I didn't know that sheep have 17 nipples. I don't know, I don't count. It's artistic integrity, isn't it? Yeah, but they've got fur in a way, they've got wool. You can't see the nipples. I love sheep. Right? Right? right. They're so cute. But this one's the nosy sheep. It's just like watching you. Ah. While you pull the pig. Oh, hey. no. So, oh. onward from the Greeks. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, and then the aristocrats with their fussy commissioned, painting. commissioned paintings. Disgusting. We move on to Catherine the Great. Um, she was she great. ruled Russia. She was great. <laughs> Rumour has it she had a room absolutely devoted to uh, erotic art in one of her palaces. She had a red room. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Hello, Gray. Hello, Mrs. Gray. Oh. Mrs. Gray. So she had a whole room devoted to art. Yeah, it. They eyewitnesses report saying that table legs were like, instead of table legs, there were carved penises. <laughs> Um, yeah, she had arts and, and toys and furniture. And Jeez, girl. Yeah, she was just an absolute... Nymphomaniac. Yeah, in part, probably. But if you're that if you're that great, <laughs> if you're that powerful... That's how she got the name. You can literally do anything. She's that great in bed. Catherine the Great in bed. In bed. Yeah. I know people forgot that bit. <laughs> I was in brackets. <laughs> Catherine the Great in bed. Disclaimer, in bed. <laughs> in bed. Oh, what a good title. Oh, mate. But like... Aaron the Adequate <laughs> in bed. Karina the... Crier. <laughs> <laughs> I told you about that. That's in secret. Oh my God. Mm. So por- the porn as we know it today, so it's not carvings, it's not oil paintings, it's not um, table legs, <laughs> it's um, video, photos. Yeah. So Victorian era hit, big industrial boom, Suddenly, we have still pictures. Yeah. Okay, now the oil paintings are out, mm-hmm. photographs are in. Exactly. But they're. Pin, the pinhole photography, did you know? Hmm? Pinhole photography. Pinhole. So they use a little hole to let the light go through to get the, onto the film, and it's exciting. And then they developed it in a dark room. Oh. I know photography. Oh, yes, you do. A level photography. Yes, please. Carry on. <laughs> you didn't know about the pornography part of did you? No, no, I was at school. Um, <laughs> and, and then when that happened, the the it was prohibited to uh, sell or push on or traffic any publication of images depicting what was considered pornography. So like a saucy postcard? No. No, it could not have it. It was not allowed. What about, what about, prohibited. What about a cheeky postcard? Yeah, I think... So they so they said anything that was obscene, but they never actually defined obscene. So mm. there was the English Obscene Publications Act of 1857. <laughs> Police would seize and destroy anything that they destroy. found. Destroy? Yeah, before, you know, after they probably yeah, yeah. wanted to shove her off yeah. to it. Um, and then America quickly followed suit with their uh, American Constock Act. Uh, they're not allowed to send images in the post. <laughs> Erotic, pornographic images. Mm. Again, both Keep use the, the word obscene but never define it, so it could be anything. What would be obscene nowadays, do you think? So obscene then would probably have been, you know, like a bum or a bit of, a bit of too much leg. Mm-hmm. And they didn't go as far as genitals. No. So we saw some, we, we've watched some... We watched the it first like caged up genitals or something. We, yeah, we watched the uh, the first porn. Getting to that, which is exciting, and it was very tame, obviously. Yeah, it was extremely tame. Today's standards, it's nothing. So I think obscene for us now, I don't think there is one. 
Yeah, the sky's the <laughs> limit, in a sense. Which is kind of scary. There's obviously the, 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 the illegal stuff. That's the dodgy stuff, yeah. Mm, but I don't think it's illegal now to send any of that in the post. Or is it? Um, I should have maybe have looked that up. No, I mean, well, you mean you're in possession of something illegal, aren't you? So, yeah. But I mean, just normal pornograph porn. Oh, I don't porn. know. Can you, like, can you just, like, from Why Amazon, you... can you just be like. No, because if, hey. yeah, no, cause you, no, if you can't send it by post, Amazon can't send you porn. No, that's what I'm saying. Has it changed so, now? Of course it must have. I don't know that it has. Oh, so read, Amazon I can't read, send your porn legally. Should we try and find someone? Um, Shall I go to look on Amazon yeah, right now? Yeah, have a look and see. Oh, do I have to? Okay, right. Why would Maybe you buy it's... porn? You get it for free. Sorry, guys. We did it at uni once. Sorry? We had a pizza and porn night. We bought porn. We went to a sex shop. Yeah. That was eye-opening. And then we got porn out of the bargain bin. <laughs> yep. Who knew that it was a bargain bin in a sex shop? And um, we got yeah. the um, the porn that looked the weirdest. <laughs> and we were like, ha ha ha, we're so clever, we're so smart, it's going to be hilarious, we're going to have all the pizza and we're going to watch porn. Right. And then we put the porn on and it's instantly uncomfortable. Yeah. But we did watch the most expensive pornography ever made. Really? Which was, I can't remember what it's called, but it was based <laughs> on a ship. And it, and it was a whole right. story, the production value of it was absolutely astronomical. Okay guys. So, um, they're already showing Prime Video, oh. so I don't know if they can send porn. So like actual DVDs? No, there is not, they're all Prime Videos. Mm. Mm. Interesting. That is interesting. Mm. I didn't know you could buy porn from Prime. I wonder if there's a trailer. Oh, there is a trailer. Should we, look, should we listen to the trailer? Okay. Right, it's the live reaction to a porn trailer called Watch Me Alone. Watch Me. About a webcam model. Can you see it, Karina? Yeah, nearly. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I'm just leaning in. Wait a minute. Every time. Oh, they're going to hear it. You ready? Oh, Load in. No. Ready, ready, ready. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Finally. Come on. No. Teasing us. Okay. It's titillating. I'll leave that. It's a bit frivery. Another country. Come on, Beth. Come on. Another city. Oh. Oh. Right a finger and a. No. Behind the glass. Oh. Okay. It looks like there's a story. That gave nothing away. It looks kind of good. See, I'm not getting porn vibes from this. I'm not getting porn vibes. It's got two and a half stars. Oh, mate. I don't know. It's only 16 minutes long. Oh my god, it's got... That's why the trailer was so shit. Because there's not a lot in it. Maybe that's the only thing they can show in the trailer. Or maybe the it's all sexy sex. Bits. 16 whole minutes of sexy sex. What well, about 15? Well, 14 and a half. Because they've got to build character. And suspense and plot. I wonder how good she is at acting. Mm, she looks alright, actually. Doesn't look bad, does she? She looks alright. She's okay. She's alright. Where, where are we? So now we're going to. What so, year are we in, mate? What? 2000. <laughs> we are. Yeah, so uh, back in the 1800s, they developed the Hicklin test. This is in England, hmm. um, which was a, uh, a test you put through um, media and um, decide whether it was pornographic or not. Yeah. Now, the way that they've described it is <laughs> tendency to deprave and corrupt those w whose minds are open to such immoral influences Jeez. and into those hands a provocation of this sort may fall. So wouldn't so, propaganda be against the rules? If it's kind of... 
Yeah. Well, no, Brainwashing this is not, you. Not, not depicting sex, though, is it? Oh, about sex, yeah. Mm. Right. And then, <laughs> even, and this made me laugh. Even under stringent law, porn flourished. So there was these two acts uh, working together. So the Hicklin Test, the English Obscene Publications Act, all trying to work together <laughs> to stop this porn from right. happening. But um, but uh, Victorian England went, no, we like porn. <laughs> Give me the porn. Uh, nobody was that worried about the consequences, actually. So the, mm. So with the progression of photographs came moving pictures that then came film so the first film was called now you said it earlier. oh do you want me to go yeah right you said it earlier yeah i'm good at french a level french right here uh, oh yeah oh yeah so le coucher de la marie there we go that le coucher de la marie and it was described as a striptease so i said to aaron Let's watch it and mm. watch it. We did. We did. And it. And I don't know what I was expecting. I was expecting more. I, I was expecting more. a little bit more. So the setup is there's this lady, Victorian lady, and a gentleman, and she says, "Oh, I'm going to get changed." Doesn't say anything. No, it's silent. There's nothing. They were very happy and very, very hammy and over the top. Yeah. You had to be, didn't you? So there's no bloody sound. Exactly. So they're acting. So, so she basically says, "Oh, I've got to get changed. Go behind the screen." Sets up a screen, but the camera obviously sees her and him, and she gets uh, unchanged, right? Mm, yeah, yeah. But it's not in a sexy, slow way. There's a lot of layers. There was about, I counted three to four layers yeah, of yeah. clothing. Before we got to the thing, we, the finale. The finale. There's probably more layers under that. Which was in the finale. So she took off her, yeah, the get, top yeah, coat. Yeah, yeah. Then she took off her stockings. Then her corset. Then her corset and then the, uh, like a, a and the difference in her body shape after the corset was insane it was so insane like she had no waist to being a normal person I was like what the fuck no. she looked normal she looked great very strange uh, and then so she took off the corset and then she took off the pat like the the poofy pants mm. oh yeah and even and then that was the last thing she took off but what was weird under the poofy pants right was a petticoat like a skirt yeah. under the pants so now she's in the, what I would describe as a sort of a fluffy negligee. Yeah. And then and that was it when it ended. And it went down past her knees. Didn't yeah. It? And it, it covered sleeveless. most of her shoulders. And most of her breasts as well. It covered, yeah. Like quite high, didn't it? And that was it. That was it. That was mad. And it was ended. And it was like three minutes long. It's insane. Mad. And then we, so a year later, it went from moving pictures to then film, right? Yeah, and it and the quality it changed. it really changed. Uh, still black and white. I don't think there was music this time. Yes, yeah, so it's very it. silent movie-ish. Um, uh, film, they had a set built. They painted a set of, especially for it mm -hmm. um, to look like a bathroom. Yeah, it looked a, like a like bathroom. A parlour. It, it was called After the Ball. And this was Après 18... the something they called it, yeah. Après yeah. Yeah, another French one. 1897. Yeah, a lot of uh, porn... The, the beginnings of porn seem to happen in France. Mm. I remember more too. Mm -hmm. um, and then... What was weird though? Yeah, it was so Completely weird. fake. Like it was yeah. meant to be the first filmed bath, I suppose, wasn't it? Yeah. But That's what it was there was no as. real water, wasn't really a bath. No. They, Karina's, well, I wonder why they were pouring black stuff on her. Karina had a theory that they couldn't use real water because it wouldn't be seen in the film. So they have soot basically pouring out of the bucket twice, barely landing on her. And yeah. it was very strange. It was weird. It was like there was a lady getting, getting undressed yeah. Yeah. with her maid. Yeah. And then she, but she still keeps on something. Yeah, she has like a weird leotard thing or thing whatever. Or it is. Uh, and then the maid is like constantly looking in the camera, <laughs> grinning, like, is that okay? Did we do good? Um... Yeah, Arjun. You just saw her bum, didn't you? Yeah. And then she was off. Yeah. And that was that. But that was quite a big step from the last one, seeing bum. Quality-wise, yeah. And the raunchiness. And the nudity, yeah. Bum. We saw bum. And then... And a very form-fitting leotard. It was, it was very form-fitting. It wasn't form loose, was it? Yeah, we, we, saw it, we saw quite a lot. So it's um, a year. In a year. So it jumped quite a lot. Um, and then we're jumping right to the 1940s. So we watched some of that. Yeah. That was weird. Yeah. Was like erotic dancing. Oh, yeah. With the women. Mm, a lot of nipple tassels, not nipple tassels, nipple pegsties. 
Um, Glitter, reeds, weird like, costumes, odd costumes, awkward dancing. So awkward. What like, did you describe it as? Oh yeah, I said it's like your aunt. Yeah. At a wedding. Like a bit drunk. A bit drunk. It's like sort of jaggedy, wooden, and they were moving so fast. So quick. There was no, not like the burlesque that we would see now. When they take their time. No, and they're, they're slow like, and seductive. It was so it. quick. Do you wonder if they had to be quick because film reels weren't very long? Maybe. So it had to be quick. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe. That's I must a have known they being filmed, yeah. So. That's a good theory, mate. Maybe. And this is all still prohibited right up until 1969, when Denmark <laughs> was the first country to legalise pornography. They're like, you know what, we do have laws, we're not really paying attention, so let's just take them out. Yeah, it makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah, I think that's probably Why not? a good idea. Let's go While wank. they watched porn. Let's go wank. So after that unlocked the golden age of porn, it became very mainstream then. It, be- it was less about... Uh, this underground your weird little uncle is, is watching it it's um it's, it's in, in homes now basically mm-hmm. and the first the, the best ones like the first few pornographic to hit the mainstream was Andy Warhol's Blue Movie oh. The Last Tango in Paris oh my god do you think that's why they're called Blue Movies yeah probably. oh my god uh, Mona Deep Throat <laughs> and The Devil and Mrs Jones <laughs> I want to see the devil and Mrs. Jones like. Oh, so it'd be like, it'd be like uh, Mrs. Jones alone, at home. Mm-hmm. What's Mrs. Jones doing at home? Just doing the housework, obviously. Doing the housework, okay. So doing the housework. I'm not expecting anyone. I'm coming. It is I, the devil. <gasps> what have I done to deserve this? I've come to fix your pipes. Thank God you're here. This pipes have been the bane of my life. I play a pool. I have a pool now? Yeah, I'm a pool boy. And I'm also a pool show pizza. And I'm also your stepson. <laughs> <laughs> Done. <laughs> uh, and your teacher. And your teacher. <laughs> and we're in the army now and I'm a drill sergeant. <laughs> Suck my cock! <laughs> The, the devil has a wide range of skill. And you've got a wide vagina. I do now. It's naughty devils. Sorry, fan time. Holy shit. Whoa. I'm the devil. Ow, I forgot the fan. <laughs> <laughs> I've got their shield on it, I forgot. Ow. No, I hurt. <laughs> and as I was saying, I'm the devil and I'm the poor boy. Ooh. That's what I was trying to say. I like that. It's like my devil voice. Um, Wait. It's fan time. Oh. Oh, God. Just trying to think. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that hurt, man. I bet it did. Oh, mate. <laughs> really? Oh, no. We're good. Yeah, it's fine. You haven't broken any skin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you got tough skin like the devil's foreskin. Hey. Um, so then, after that, um, became the invention of... The home camera. <gasps> People could now access their own cameras. Uh, video cameras, photo cameras, what are they called? Photo cameras. Cameras. <laughs> so, yeah, it's all of that. And then suddenly, people were, were making homemade porn. Mm. The amateur um, the best kind. section of pornography was born. Born. Became Like one. that baby you didn't want. Oh. <laughs> um, so, well, um, wow! And in 1973, they narrowed what they perceived as as obscene. So things became it became more liberal. So then. just the legal, mm-hmm. legal stuff. So internet and cable were the best thing that happened to porn. Mm-hmm. There is a joke that the internet is for pornography. Yeah. Um. So now we've got people making them at home and distributing them that way. And then we suddenly get the internet. Dun, dun, dun. Wanking for your life. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that, really, pornography sort of pushed forward a lot of development within the internet. Like video live streaming. And being able to pay securely over the internet. Mm. So thank you, pornography, for PayPal. 
we're so perverted <laughs> that if you if you were were a platform who was presenting media, mm. the more pornography you had on it, yep. the more popular you would be. Insane. Absolutely makes sense though, doesn't it? It does. That's why Betamax lost. Betamax. Remember that? No. I don't. Because it died a death. But we do remember HD DVD. Yes, we Compe- do. Compete with Blu-ray. No, they're both dead. Oh, God. Online streaming. Netflix. <laughs> uh, and now, um, pornography is in every facet. Yeah. We've got internet on our mobile devices. Advertising. Advertising. Soft porn. Well, oh advertising. My God. All the time. Right. All the time. All the time. Even, to my utter amazement, porn games. Oh, yeah. We saw this earlier. What the hell? I want to play one. I want to play one. I knew that you could watch videos, like in uh, VR. Oh, yeah, yeah. But I didn't know that you could actually physically play a game. Amazing, right? Because we saw some, didn't we? Yeah, it was like pretty fun. Eight pixels. It was well fun. <laughs> of, of sexy, sexy sex. <laughs> um, yeah, so I think... Yeah, I you think put that cube in my cube. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You stick your rectangle into my rectangle hole. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Uh, it's estimated that there is between 4% and 14% mm. of all internet is porn. 40? On the BBC website, it says 14. But on, on that video, video we watched, said it said 40. Yeah. So nobody, can, nobody knows. It's not clear, is it, mate? Maybe there's so much pornography we just cannot count. Maybe some... there's so much internet. Oh, you yeah. just cannot count You it. can't quantify the whole internet. There's a lot of it. I reckon it's just Most of it's porn, though. Another statistic I read, yeah. I struggle with that word, uh, is that for every page of non-porn, there's ten pages of porn. Probably, yeah. That is quite a substantial. Can you say one. statistician? Statistician. But only because you said it. If I had to read it, uh, I wouldn't know. And that is where we are at with pornography... Today. Thank you, Karina. You bloody genius. What amazing, amazing history. So that was a brief history of porn. Brief. Lol. Brief. brief. <laughs> <laughs> and this has been episode three of Inexperienced. Oh my god, girl. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's so warm. I oh know. Let us leave. For a little break. I need a fan break. Before we record two more. Before we record too much, we can do this. Oh yeah, it's fine. Thank you for listening I'll as ever. Well. We'll set. We'll put a link into the first porn film. To oh yeah, we'll put it on it on our Instagram or something. Yeah, so you can check that out if yeah. you're so inclined. You should be. You should be. Um, what's the next episode? I can't remember. We've already recorded. I know that. Sexuality spectrum. No, no, we're recording that one oh, next. Oh god, sorry. Now you know. But the next one. Ah. <gasps> It's our online dating two-part series. Oh, hello! Ooh, it's fun, it's fun, it's fun. I think that one's going to be by far my favourite one. I'm enjoying this one, you know. I'm having a good time. Sexy. having a good time. So, um, Karina, yeah. last word. One more word, just to finish the podcast. Go. Squelch. <laughs>